Ever found yourself pulling your hair out trying to format a bibliography correctly? It's a conundrum that plagues many, from the greenest of students to the most established academics. It's like a puzzle with a thousand pieces, each citation meticulously crafted and placed in its perfect spot. The endeavour of creating a bibliography manually is a test of patience and precision. Each source demands time and attention, and let's not forget the ever-changing citation styles. APA, MLA, Chicago, the list goes on. Each with its unique format and quirks, they're enough to give anyone a headache. And then there's the need for accuracy. One misplaced comma, one wrong date, and your credibility can come into question. It's a high-stakes game, this bibliography business. So what if there was a tool that could make this daunting task easier? Something to streamline the process, ensuring accuracy while saving time. Spoiler alert, there is. Enter citation machines, the unsung heroes of academic writing. Imagine a brilliant workhorse tirelessly pulling in data from the vast expanse of the web. It's a bit like a detective sifting through information, discarding the irrelevant and keeping the pertinent. It's a librarian meticulously organizing the sources that have contributed to your work into a well-structured bibliography. But the wizardry doesn't stop there. This tool is not just a time saver, it's a precision instrument. It ensures the accuracy of your references, eliminating errors that could potentially undermine your credibility. And if that wasn't enough, it's also a chameleon, adeptly adapting to the ever-changing landscape of citation styles. So, whether you're grappling with the intricacies of APA, MLA or Chicago style, this trusty tool has your back. It's like having your very own academic assistant, always ready to lend a hand. Now, you might be wondering, how does this magical tool work? Let's delve into that. Step one, selecting your citation style. This is where your journey with the citation machine begins. It's like choosing the language in which you'll communicate your sources. There are several citation styles available, each with its own unique set of rules and format. Some of the most common ones include the Modern Language Association, or MLA, the American Psychological Association, or APA, and the Chicago style. MLA is often used in the humanities, APA in the social sciences, and Chicago in both humanities and sciences. Each style has its own nuances and intricacies, so it's essential to choose the one that best fits your work. Remember, consistency is key. Once you've chosen a style, stick to it throughout your document to maintain a clean, professional look. So, take your pick. Whether it's MLA, APA or Chicago, the Citation Machine is here to make your life easier. Once you've selected your style, you're ready for the next step. Step 2. Identifying your source type. Let's dive into the heart of the Citation Machine's functionality. After you've chosen your citation style, it's time to identify what type of source you're citing. This could be a book, a journal article, a website, or even a tweet. Each type of source has unique information that needs to be captured, and the citation machine is smart enough to ask for exactly what it needs. For example, if you're citing a book, you'll need to provide the author's name, the title of the book, and the year of publication, among other details. On the other hand, if you're citing a website, the URL and the date you access the site become crucial. The citation machine is designed to make this process as seamless as possible, guiding you through each step and ensuring that your bibliography is as accurate as it can be. With the source type locked in, you're halfway there. Scene script. Step 3. Inputting your source details. Now that you've identified the citation style and the type of your source, the next stride in this journey is to provide the specifics of your source. This is where the magic of the citation machine really starts to shine. Consider this process as a conversation between you and the citation machine. It's asking you, tell me about this source, who wrote it, when was it published, what's it called? And you, my dear user, are the one providing these answers. Let's begin with the author's name a crucial piece of information. You'll need to input it exactly as it appears on your source. Last name first, followed by the first name. Remember to respect the original formatting, including any middle initials or suffixes. Next up, the publication date. 
This detail is important as it places your source in a specific timeline, providing context for your readers. Make sure to include the full date, if available, following the day-month-year format. The title is another key detail. Whether it's a book, an article or a web page, the title gives your readers a glimpse into the content of your source. Input it as it appears, maintaining the original capitalization and punctuation. Also, don't forget about other details like the publisher's name, the edition number for books or the URL for online sources. These bits of information may seem minor, but they're crucial for a complete and accurate citation. Then there's the location of your source. For books, it's the place of publication, for articles, the page numbers, and for web sources, the access date. Yes, it may seem like a lot of information to input, but remember, each detail you provide helps paint a clearer picture of your source, enhancing its credibility and making it easier for your readers to find it. And just like that, you're ready for the final step. <laughs> step four, generating and checking your citation. At this juncture, the citation machine does its magic. It pulls together all the information you've input, applying the chosen style and source type, and generates a neatly formatted citation. But wait, we're not quite done yet. It's crucial not to skip the next part. Our citation machine is smart, but it's not infallible. We must double-check the generated citation for any potential errors. Are the author names spelled correctly? Is the title accurately represented? Is the publication year correct? These are all critical elements that need to be in order. Remember, the goal here is not just to create a citation, but to create an accurate and reliable one. This step is about ensuring the integrity of your work and showing respect to the original authors of your sources. And voila! You've got yourself a perfectly formatted citation. So let's sum up what we've learned today. The Citation Machine, in its essence, is a time-saving, hassle-free tool that transforms the once daunting task of creating bibliographies into a breeze. It's your knight in shining armour, an unsung hero that helps you acknowledge the hard work of other scholars and professionals whose work has contributed to your own. The process is simple, streamlined and efficient, involving just four key steps. First, we have the selection of the citation style. This is where you choose the citation format that best suits your work, whether it's APA, MLA, Chicago or any other style. Each has its unique formatting rules and the citation machine seamlessly adapts to whichever style you choose. Next, we identify the source type. This is where you tell the citation machine what kind of source you're citing. A book, a journal article, a website, a movie or anything else. The citation machine is versatile and works with a wide range of sources. Then comes the step of inputting source details. Here, you feed the citation machine with the necessary information about your source. The author's name, the title, the year of publication and so on. The more information you provide, the more accurate your citation will be. Finally, we have the generation and checking of the citation. The citation machine takes all the information you've provided, churns it through its system, and voila! Out comes a perfectly formatted citation, ready to be copied and pasted into your bibliography. You should, of course, check the citation to ensure its accuracy. So, why use a citation machine? Because it takes the guesswork out of the citation process. It ensures accuracy, promotes consistency, and saves you time, allowing you to focus on what truly matters, your research. With citation machines, the once daunting task of creating a bibliography becomes simple and efficient. So there you have it, folks. The beauty of citation machines lies not only in their ability to streamline the often tedious process of creating bibliographies, but also in their dedication to accuracy and consistency. These tools, as we've seen, are far from being mere conveniences. They are essential aids in the world of academic writing, helping us to pay due respect to the scholars and researchers whose work we build upon. They save us time, they save us headaches, and they save us from the pitfalls of incorrect citation. And let's not forget, they also save us from potential accusations of plagiarism. So why not give it a try? The next time you're tasked with an academic writing assignment, Remember these unsung heroes of the academic world. Use a citation machine to ensure your work is as polished, professional and respectful as it can be. Remember, a well-cited work is a well-respected work. Until next time, happy citing.